Hi, I'm RJ here with Limited Moments, and I am here with Twerk, Twerk, uh, Twerkette, right? Twerkette. I know it's... Yes. <laughs> How are you doing this evening? Doing pretty well. How about yourself? Getting in there. Uh, why don't you just go ahead and start off, tell us a little about yourself, who you are, where you're from, and um, who do you cosplay? Alright. Uh, my cosplay name is Twerkette. Got that from my friends. I know it's a weird name. Uh, my real name is Colette. So it kind of interacts with my cosplay name. I've lived here all my life so far. I'm 23. Um, what I cosplay from video games, and I'm really starting to cosplay League of Legends. I've only done about three so far, but definitely going to keep making them because they have the greatest costumes ever. Just, like, the and that's what inspires me to make them, so... That's pretty much it. Yeah, and you, you make your own cosplays? Yeah, I do make all of my cosplays. There is a couple that I have bought. I post it in my album, though. It'll say, like, which one I bought online. It's just two of them, but all the League of Legends ones I make by myself. Okay. And which was the hardest for you to make? My most recent one, the Neon Strike Vi. Oh. I had so many problems with that. <laughs> Way too many. Yeah. Okay. What's your favorite? Um, probably Neon Strike by. Just because I went all out for it. I've never really gone all out for a costume before until this one. So I tried. At, that costume was basically a lot of firsts for, for me, like LEDs. I've never soldered anything in my life. Anything electrical, nothing. Did that. I did casting. Never done that before. Warblah. Never used that before. Lots of firsts. So. Have you? I, I know you've seen Misery's uh, by, haven't you? Of course. <laughs> I love her. She's amazing. Yeah. I, I, I saw her at uh, AX, and we didn't get a picture together. We're, I don't know why we didn't, but we didn't. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Maybe next time. Okay. Yes. Well, it goes into my next question. Uh, what What's your lineup for cons this year? Um, I'm not able to go to too many cons because of my job. They don't really allow me to request off too much. The cons that I usually go to are ALA, Anime Expo, the local ones here in Vegas, like Anime Vegas, and then I think Otacon is coming here uh, next year, January. So hopefully I could go to that too. I haven't really looked into it really yet, but definitely the big ones for me are ALA and AX. Other than that, it's just small cons. All right. Um, how did you discover cosplay? Um, when I was in middle school, I got really into anime, and our local convention here started out as being like a screening every month, and they were at a library screening anime, and then eventually he decided, oh, I'm going to make a convention, so that convention's been around for 10 years, and the only reason why I decided to go was because I went to those screenings, and once I got there, I was like, oh, wow, people are in costume and stuff, this is really awesome, so the year after that, I made myself a costume, I had never even, no one taught me how to sew, I just bought a sewing machine, bought some fabric, and was like, all right, here we go. <laughs> what was your first cosplay? My first cosplay was Chi from Chobits. I did the seventh manga volume, the front cover dress, the purple dress. I was actually just watching so. that. Um, I was watching Chobit this, this morning. That's why I, oh, really? Yeah. That's why I got no sleep last night because I was watching Chobit. <laughs> well, it's pretty good anime. Yeah. That was one of that was one of my first back in middle school. So. Oh, well, girls! I loved it. Girls Bravo was my first anime. Really? Yes. My very very first was Inuyasha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I started this and like I, I I felt really bad because like a lot of, I didn't know who a lot of these cosplayers and didn't know the characters. So I was like, you know what, Netflix, here I come. <laughs> yeah. And I started just watching all these all, all of these uh, anime so I could get like a feel of who 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 was who. So, yeah. Definitely. Right. Why do you cosplay? Why? Um. Well, I've always been really artistic and I always love to create things. Like, I'm originally an artist, so I love drawing. I grew up drawing, and since I love to draw these characters, I figured, hey, why not? I could just make the costumes and paint that, and that's basically... I just love doing it. It's a really fun hobby, so... 
Uh-huh. Other than that, yeah. Um, sorry. Okay. What yeah. has been your biggest struggle in cosplay, and how did you overcome it? Um, well, my biggest struggle probably is I haven't ever taken any classes on how to actually sew, so I sew completely wrong. Like, I do the worst things that anybody could possibly do in sewing, (laughs) because I don't do it correctly. I just kind of try to make it work and go from there. Uh I don't use patterns. I mean, I'll make a pattern myself sometimes, but sometimes I won't even use a pattern. I'll just, like, draw it directly on the fabric and be like, okay, here we go. It's pretty terrible. But uh, another thing that would be really hard was definitely, like, stuff like the LEDs that I did for my bike cosplay. That took me forever to even learn. I watched so many tutorials, and I still couldn't figure it out. And I think it might have been my soldering iron because the wattage is a little bit low, so I might need to go buy a better one. That could be it, but I just could not get the solder to melt correctly, and it still was a terrible soldering job because it was just horrible. (laughs) All right. This is kind of a... In the cosplay world, I see there's a lot of negativity. Mm -hmm. Have you faced that negativity via internet or in person, and... How did you overcome it? Um, I've the only time I've ever faced it is on my witch from the Left for Dead cosplay. Um, on YouTube, we had our skit. Okay, it's on it. Hold like on, uploaded on YouTube and hello. Uh, okay, start that over because I for some odd reason you you started. Oh, did I? Your you know, you your your sound going in and out. Oh, uh oh. There you go. Now you're good. Great. Okay. Um. So I'll just start that over. <laughs> Five. The, the only time I faced it was on YouTube. I was a witch from Left 4 Dead, and I looked a little bit like bigger than like a witch would. Cause have you played Left 4 Dead before? No. It, no. Um, it's a zombie character and she's like skin and bones right so I looked really big I guess in the video it's weird they took it in a weird angle so I looked really whatever Um, so a lot of people commented negatively on it saying that that witch is fed, stupid stuff like that, and I was just like, well, I'm actually only 120 pounds, but all right, cool, you know. But other than that, I haven't really faced any of that because I'd say I'm really on the low tier of anybody really knowing who I am yet, so I only have 400 likes on my page, so I don't know. <laughs> uh, Danielle Malou likes you. I know she does, and I'm like, really? <laughs> She's got like a billion, bajillion likes, and I'm like, really? And That's speaking awesome. of her, I actually <laughs> have a question from her, and uh-huh. so I, I, so I found her via, found you via her, and I told mm-hmm. her I was interviewing today, interviewing to you today, and I asked her if she had any questions for you, and her question is, she wants to know how does Twerkette get so cute? Well, that's real sweet, Danielle. Um, I, that's just how I am, I guess. <laughs> you are also cute. <laughs> All right. I don't know if she was serious about me asking that, but she, she'll know now that, like, I, I will ask. She'll know now that it was serious. <laughs> she'll know now that it was serious. Yeah, so, okay. All right, at this time, um, okay, sorry, stupid question. All right. Um, if money was not an object and time was not an issue and you could make it, what cosplay would you do? Hmm, that's a tough one. Like, I have so many that I want to do, but it's just kind of like, I'm willing to put in that money for it. But if there was, like, something crazy, it would probably have to be, like, a full-blown, like, mech suit of some sort, because I know that that would be, like, expensive, super expensive, having to put in, like, all the electronics for it, all that stuff, but it would have to be something really ginormous. Okay. So, yeah. I don't know exactly what I would do, though. Specific random cosplay? 
Maybe. <laughs> That'd be a little scary. <laughs> and Sam, do you have any advice for uh, fellow cosplayers that are just getting into the cosplay world? Um, definitely watch tutorials. They help immensely. Um, also, don't be afraid to ask fellow cosplayers because I'm always willing to help. I'm actually going to start making tutorial videos and on how I'm making my stuff. So uh, yeah, I, that's how I learned. So I, I know uh, I talked to a lot of talked to a lot of cosplayers that um, when they started cosplaying, there was no tutorial videos. There was no no nothing. There was just oh pictures, and I hope I make this make it right. <laughs> yeah. That's that's how I used to do it too. Until I've I recently got uh, into the League of Legends cosplay group, and they've really helped me. They all know so much, yeah. so many things that I could. That's how I built my Vi costume. Actually, was asking questions. How would I go about doing this? How would I go about doing that? And they all led me in the right direction. So it's really good to have people around you that know what they're doing or have done it before. All right. At this time, do you have any shout-outs you would like to say thank you to? Um, thank you to my 400 fans. I love you guys. <laughs> that's very nice of you. And I never thought that I would even get that many. Like, that's a lot to me. And I hope that I can continue to impress. So that's about it. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us this evening. Um, is there anything else you would like to add? Um, no, that's about it, I think. Thank you for interviewing me. You're welcome. Um, all right, well, I'm RJ from Limber Moments, and this is Twerkette. So, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You gotta explain the Twerkette name. I knew it was gonna come up. Um, well, when I, <laughs> like, I like to I dance. I see your name, and I see cosplay, and I just see you, like, twerking in a... <laughs> I know, I know. I like to dance, and I like, uh, I like to cosplay, so... You know, I figured I'd just put it together, but my friends originally started calling me Twerkette because my name is Colette, so when I would go dance, you know, it'd be like me twerking, whatever, doing something stupid out on the dance floor, and then eventually somebody just called me Twerkette and it stuck, and I thought, hey, that's a very interesting name that nobody has, I'll just put it on my cosplay, and then eventually I do want to start making some cosplay twerk videos so those will be coming out sooner or later yeah, I, <laughs> I don't see videos of this and it, it, it never exactly. happens there's no videos I mean there is one um, at AX the Titan from uh, Attack on Titans have you heard of that anime at all? no it's a new anime it's out on Crunchyroll you can watch it on Crunchyroll um, it was a Titan in a full spandex suit it's a uh, D-Pity the cosplayer D. Pity. He cosplayed uh, Deadpool. He's a really famous Deadpool cosplayer. He was twerking in his Titan cosplay, but that's the only one I've seen. So I definitely I do want to. I see your picture that you have on your profile, and uh -huh. you look like you were in the middle of dancing when I took the picture. <laughs> I was. I was. That was at the Anime Expo dance. <laughs> That was the, I like how everyone in the background is like photobombing it, and I'm the only one that's like, "All right, take a picture of me." <laughs> it's pretty funny. Actually, wearing that dress right now. Uh -huh. awesome. Yeah. But. All right. Well, thank you so much. Well, I'm RJ Living with Almas, and this is Twerkette. <laughs> hey, thank you. We're signing off till next time. Bye. Bye.